But did Peter have any good friends growing up? I honestly don't remember any. All right, look, Zoe, just to clarify here, my dad worked for IBM, so we moved a lot when I was a kid. Well, Robbie always managed to have friends. Of course, he probably wanted to suck their dick. But... Oswald! <laughs> no, Mom, it's cool. I totally did. I, but he doesn't have to use that kind of language. Indeed. <clears throat> Why? My son is a gay man, and I embrace his lifestyle. It's true. Dad loves the gays. I actually made him an honorary homo last month. <clears throat> the point is, Zoe, Peter always connected better with women. You know, I can see that because he's a great boyfriend. Thank you, fiance. <laughs> also, you gotta understand, Zoe, Peter matured sexually at a very early age. I remember taking him swimming when he was 12 years old. Kid had a bush like a 40-year-old Serbian. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dad, please stop talking. Good to know. Nice. Come on. He had a Speedo full of Brillo. Oh. Be proud. <laughs> Be proud <so. laughs> oh. <laughs> who, invi oh, who invited the stand-up comedian over here? <laughs> but, uh, Zoe, here's the deal. Peter's always been a girlfriend guy. He put all his focus and energy into his relationships, and all his dude friends just fell by the wayside. Zoe, don't listen to him, all right? I mean, he's, we're eight years apart. Barely grew up together in the same house. This is ridiculous. Why is it weird that I had girlfriends? Nothing. We're just saying you never really had a best friend is all. Well, who's your best friend? I have two. Hank Mardukas has been my closest friend since our first year at IBM. Best yeah. man at our wedding. Yeah, he was. Yeah, talked to him two, three times a week on the phone for 30 years now. And then there's Robbie. What's up? Oh, Robbie is your other best friend? Correct. And Hank Mardukas. Picture yourself in a living room. Your pipe and slippers set out for you I know you think that it ain't too far But I I hear a call of a lifetime ring Felt the need to get up for it Oh, you cut out the little man the little man You got no time for the messenger Got no regard for the thing that you don't know David Stanley, the That's why you will not survive. Open up here to Tevin. It's very close to downtown. How close do you want to be? Thank you, sweetheart. I can't get you that close, because the schools are terrible. The skyscrapers were all lit up. I got down on one knee. She was totally surprised. Well, I'm jealous, Peter, because you never gave me a shot. <laughs>